So, Rebecca, I'm doing a video, mm -hmm. but you don't have to be on it. What is it like to be married with someone with bipolar disorder? <laughs> bipolar? <laughs> bipolar disorder and, in, and uh, insomnia. Guys, ups and downs. <laughs> Got lots of ups and downs. Lots of ups and downs. That's all you can say about it? Yeah. Is it hard? It's very hard. Hard not knowing what's going on. Was it was it scary? is it scary? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's really you don't know what's going on. So how long were we married until until you knew that I had a mental illness? Uh, two years. Two years. How did you? What, what what was that day? How did? What was that day like when you finally well, knew? About a year and a half. I thought you had something. I knew something was wrong because you just stopped doing anything. But you used to go to school and work and play basketball and all that stuff and so I thought you were cool you know I didn't know there was anything wrong but when that happened I don't know I just thought crap <laughs> what the heck so why did you why did you stay with me so I kind of liked you <laughs> you kind of like me <laughs> Well, why would you say with, stay with someone if you kind of liked them? <laughs> well, well, we didn't find out until after we were married, so it's not like yeah. But a lot of people get divorced after they get yeah, married. It's not like you get married and you just go, "Oh, you're sick. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm out of here." Well, that happens a lot. Yeah, but so are you saying that you're that you treat marriage differently than other people? I'm saying in the church, we take it more seriously. Oh, so you stayed with me because you're Mormon. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Can I sit on this? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to break it. <sighs> this camera is horrible. So how about now? Uh, I, I'm not working. How is it now compared to the first day that you? Well, you weren't working then either, but at least you were. At least you're nicer now than you were then. You used to be really agitated and used to throw my stuff away and. Yeah. Be really mean to me and act like I was to blame for all of it. Uh huh. But at least now you. You know you're a lot more civil about things. Thanks to lithium. Uh huh. So, I think lithium uh, saved our marriage, or will save our marriage. I think once I start working, that'll be better. I think lithium could save a lot of marriages. Yeah, it could save a lot of lives too. So if if. If a uh, if a woman, a young woman in your position, was in the same position, she married a guy that she did had no idea had mental illness, and didn't find out till after. How what would you, your what would you say would be the best thing to do for her? Uh, well, have a good support system, have good family support. Um, I don't know, staying's the best thing. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't know if it's staying with someone is the best thing. How would you know whether to stay or leave? Um, kind of have to make that choice yourself. You have to know what you can handle, because it it makes you kind of feel like you're bipolar <laughs> with all the craziness that's going on. You just don't know what's going on, so you just. You feel like you're losing it. 
And that's not a good feeling, especially when you're trying to work and, you know, make sure you guys have a place to live and food to eat and medical insurance and all that stuff. All right. 